hello and welcome to my youtube channel my name is ifi and today i am coming to you with my african attire this is a long weighted dressing um a lot of people have asked me why i don't wear african attire um i don't know why honestly i have a couple of it like this dress I'm wearing, that today is the first time I'm wearing it. And this dress was made for me two years ago. Today is the first time I'm putting it on. I Reason, I don't know. But I'm always that type who like to wear something that it's easy, quick, right here. Don't look for all this stuff to put in. I love to be simple, <laughs> say it that way. But I love it when I see it on people. I love it. And I was like, oh my God, this is so beautiful. This is gorgeous. How did you make it? Where did you make it? I'll ask all that question. But the ones I have for me to put it on is usually a big one. This dress was made for me two years ago. I have not put it on. Today is my first day putting it on. I don't know, maybe because I go to a church that is majority white. I don't know, maybe that's why. But... It's just not the only time I see myself putting on um, African wear is when I go to some Nigerian function. Either I go to a Nigerian wedding, Nigerian funeral, Nigerian anything Nigerian, Nigerian baby shower, Nigerian graduate stuff, somebody's daughter, wife, family, brother graduating. That's the only time I do that. So I decided to come up with it today. So this is my nigerian african wear i wore it to church today and a lot of people were giving me compliments and sometimes i feel so like embarrassed when everybody comes oh you look gorgeous oh you look good oh you look down well that's by the way this is not why i am here on on the, my channel today so i'm here to share some knowledge because this is knowledge tv and i want to share some knowledge it's been a long time i shared knowledge so on today i'm just going to be sharing knowledge on how you can make some side income so side money first of all one of the best ways you can make a side money is a b and b a b and b is where you rent a, a, um, your property, your house, your apartment. Um, some people even rent rooms in the hotel. So it could be the whole, the whole of the house. It could be rooms. It could be part of the house. You might also be living in that house. So this is how you rent your you this project the you, those properties and Airbnb the you the company will be the one collecting the rent for you and when they collect the rent they take it they take their own percentage and put the other percent in your account it is usually somebody will ask and say why don't you just do it on your own why don't you just Rent it to people. Well, there is too many trouble when you rent property to people, because sometimes when you bring people into the property, they might pay you first or second month, and then the third month they don't want to pay, and you may have to spend the precious time you have going to court, trying to get them evicted, and getting somebody evicted in some part of the world. It usually takes time because they the court will always order that you give that person time to um, get a place before that they are not going to go on the street or become homeless okay so that is one way so when you are ready to do that you will have to go online type in a b and b it is spelled a i r b n b dot com so you type it in when you type it in, it is all over the world. I was surprised to hear that they have it in Lagos, Nigeria. Um, but, so, it is all over the world. You, you type in Airbnb, then you select sign, you sign up, and you will, it's self-explanatory, and it will help you 
sign that off. Another way, especially for the students, is for is tutoring. When you know a particular subject, you don't just teach your fellow students for free. You charge them money to teach them, especially things like science, mathematics, and others, you know. So they are very high in demand. If you are a math student, if you are very good in mathematics, don't just give your knowledge for free. Nothing is free. Your fellow students, your co-students, those who are in the same class with you, who do not understand the subject as fast as you did, you charge them money to teach them this subject. It's no more a free service. That's another way you can make money. Whether you are outside of Nigeria or inside of Nigeria, wherever you are, you can use it to make money. You teach your fellow students that particular subject, that particular topic, by charging them money. To, it, it, you become a tutor. You know, um, in the school that I went to, the school hire tutors. So if you don't have... If you don't, if you have need for that class, if you don't understand it right away, you can go and sign in for tutoring. There are some students that are um, are paid a stipend um, for them to tutor other students for them to understand it. But this is a side hustle that um, I, I think some of us are just giving away for free in Nigeria. When you when you know a subject, you need to charge somebody to teach it that's something that you can make a side hustle and when i think about it there are so many things you can do in that country nigeria i'm trying to say this to young people i'm trying to i'm, I'm focusing this my um video to my nigerian uh, viewers because i have seen that so many of them feel oh what do i do or oh, how do i do this what do, why do i make an income there are so many ways you can make an income this is one of them. I remember in those days in the university, people need somebody to teach, to teach them, especially when the school, when the exam is coming closer, because sometimes some of us wait to the dying minute to bring out our books to study. So those people who need somebody to teach them, they make them pay you. Nothing is free anymore. They pay you for you to teach them before you can move on. Okay? So... So find a subject that you know very well, that you master very well. Teach people and get paid. Don't teach them for free. It's no longer, nothing is free anymore. Okay? So another one is DoorDash. Here we do what is called DoorDash. Um, DoorDash, is, there is an app. You type it in and you sign up. If you need, if people order food, especially during lunch or you are in a vacation, you are in a hotel, you came back from work, you are tired, you go to this app, you order food, whatever you want to eat, you put in your credit card, your visa card, and then it will charge you the amount, charge you even the amount of delivery, and somebody pick up the food, go to the restaurant where the food is prepared, you will pick it up, come and knock at your door, and then deliver the food to you. I remember I was on a trip. I was hungry. I was talking to a friend and I kept saying, ah, I wish I can find a place to get this food and that food. I was like, oh, I'm so hungry. So before I know it, somebody was knocking at my hotel room. I said, somebody's knocking. I wonder who is that person? I wasn't expecting anybody. I went out, opened the door, and there, there was a fool. The person I was talking to on the phone has ordered a f food for me and the DoorDash guys came to deliver it at my door. And that was real, real, real. Technology is so good, so wonderful. So these people who deliver this food, they are paid and they also get tips for delivering this food to you. So that's another thing that you can organize yourself. If, if it's not in... In Nigeria, if it's not in um, in any in the, where you're staying, you can organize it. Pick up goods for somebody, deliver it. Pick up 
food, deliver it. As you're delivering these goods and services with, you know, guarantee, respect, making sure that all the, um, the property gets to that person intact. Okay, if I order food, I get it intact, I eat it, there is no problem, and then the other water or or grocery or whatever I order. I order my hair, I order clothes and it get delivered to me intact. You know, people will still want to do these services. If people some people order their grocery online and this particular service they go and pick up groceries so you don't have to go to shop again or you know like you go going to a wet market going to balogu market i know balogu market is a very big market that honestly i do not like to go to market when i was in nigeria oh praise god for my younger sister ifi my younger sister ifi is my market girl so she goes to the market she buy things and i buy from her <laughs> So she will put a little money because I don't like that stress of being pushed around. And then when you go to the market, you see all these my Igbo brothers pushing you around. And this I'll call you Ngozi, Nkechi, okay, 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 for this. They keep guessing your name to come and buy them. Oh, auntie, come and buy for me. Auntie, sister, come. This, oh, I do not like it. I, I keep fighting and kicking because people are pushing me and uh, trying to get my attention, trying to force me to go to their shop to buy from them. So those are the things. So if you are the one that like to shop, honestly, you can make money shopping for people. So because I know my sister used to make money shopping for me. So when she buys something, oh, she'll come and tell me, ah, I bought this, okay, this is the how much I buy. Sometimes she even inflates the price. But because I do not like going to the market, I, I like it. I pay for it. So, and life moves on. So, you can make money. My sister made money out of me. And there is no skin pain. I think I just feel, well, she likes going to market and she always buy me what I like. She always buy the type of, the type of stuff that I like. So, what the heck? I, I enjoy it and it's fine. So, you can make money that way. So, then, another thing is made. Yes, made. A lot of people live in this country, uh, United States, make an, a very good income working as a maid. What do, what do I mean? They go to people's house, clean their house. Some students pay their tuition just working as a maid. Some of these people that come back home and build all these top buildings, they go to people's house, they, they did this job. They go to people's house, clean their house, vacuum for them, babysit for them. Some of them you cook for them. They are very busy professionals. They come back, they are so tired. Some have kids. So they pay you to come and cook. Come and cook a goosey soup for me. Come and cook a bono soup, a bitter leaf soup. You cook a whole big pot of soup. Clean the whole house. Do all that. Then they, they, you, you have a particular amount that you agreed on that is going to pay you. Some people say you come every week. Some people want you to come once a month. Some people to come want you to come twice a week. So depending on how you agree with them. But these are another ways of making money. Don't just run an errand for anybody for free anymore. It's a way for you to make money. Especially as a student. So that way you'll be financial independence because a lot of people are saying i don't know how to do it this that and i'm telling you the, some of the ways um you can do it you know these are some of the things you can do i know there it is not a lot of money in there but there is a lot of money if you add it up together they said you know no matter how small it is it didn't bring itself it adds up and if you begin to add one and two, instead of trying to make this one million, trying to go to Babalawo to make to make money ritual, to gang up with this, to before you can become rich, it doesn't work. It just works temporarily, and then you go back to square one, and even worse than that. So just take it one day at a time. You know, Rome was not built in a day. And, you know, if it, if it happens, some of them, some are built in a day or some are born with silver spoon, forget, to stop comparing, you know. That's one of my, one of my sister's uh, best adage. Stop comparing. Be content with yourself. Stop comparing. 
don't compare yourself with anybody. <laughs> and then you will see her, a teacher, a mother uh, expression. Stop comparing. <laughs> so, you know, so anyway, another way is social media, which a lot of people are doing very good in that. A lot of Nigerians, are, when I, I, I have subscribed to so many of them and not even subscribing just because I, I want to die. So I'm just subscribing to help them, you know, to boost them up. I really enjoy, I think Nigeria is doing very, very, very good when it comes to social media entertainment. Hey, come on, there is money in it. Can you imagine some of them are being paid in dollars who are their PSO? Go out for it if you can, if you have time. The only thing is that it's so time-consuming if you don't have the time. It's so time-consuming because even my channel, I know how many times I post. So, and for you to make money in the social media, um, all this YouTube and Facebook, you have to come be consistently posting. You have to be consistently bringing out things that interest your viewers and attract some more attention. But it is very 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 hard <laughs> honestly you it, because it takes you have it takes determination you it takes a lot you have to get ready you have to know your content you have to carry camera you have to you know it's just a lot so that one is a lot you need a crew you need people you need camera you need this you need that so but it's up to you if it's your determination if you can post, if I can get, as soon as you hit 1,000 subscribers, then um, that's when YouTube will start, you know, recognizing you and add people will start advertising for you. And another one is food is one thing a lot of people, we eat and then we want to eat more and then we want to eat more, you know. So making things like moi moi, mi pie, chin chin and all that stuff. And even if it's supplying it to um, some of these uh, roadside stores, um, it's, and giving them their own cut, it's another thing that uh, where you can make uh, a whole lot of income. I remember <laughs> I tried that uh, chin chin thing while we were in the university in Enugu. Um, it worked a little bit, but I think it, at some point, in, it didn't work for so long for me, but I heard about it. I did try it with some abuki. You know, we were doing, I was doing the chin chin and giving it to abuki, you know, so, and putting it in his store. So, and which he will sell and then I'll get my own cut out of it. So anyway, that is another way of making money um, of, because there are so many, there are so many, but this is just a little bit of it. Another one, there is this, all these YouTube videos you watch, there is an app you can be paid for watching YouTube videos, just, just watching YouTube videos. So I will not watch it for free. You pay and you, you will watch it and get paid for watching it because each video you watch, it's a little amount, but it all adds up, especially if you have time and to watch the video. There is another one that you can you, you can be paid just for taking um, survey. So there, there, there is an app. I even have that app on my phone and I want to share that app with you all. So it's, it's, a, it's an app. You can take a survey on that app. So with that survey, each of the survey that you take, you get paid for the survey. So I want to show you, um, it, it does, it, it does, it's not much. Somebody told me about this app and I wanted to, to check it out before I can tell anybody, you know, I can guarantee it anymore. So this, the, um, this is how much I have earned trying to, um, to do the, to take the survey online so because i wanted sometimes when i want to say something i want to make sure that it's something that i have tried and the scene uh, the effect whether it's real or not before i can tell somebody so that way um i just don't be talking on an assumption and there are so many other ways to but today i am going to stop this far and i hope 
this help somebody and i hope after doing this somebody can give something a trial and don't just sit there and assume there is nothing to do there is no work or just be applying for a job i'm applying and nobody is uh, re responding to my application i want you to try one of these things and all these things i have listed you do not need a whole lot of money to start it and i wish you the best and see me on the next video thank you for listening and subscribe